So over the past 10 years, what has changed for DVD um, as a company? So internally, our structure, because that's changed recently, hasn't it? Um, so if you just want to talk about the way we've handled the, the structure change and everything. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I think as much as I'm, I'm, I've, I've got still the body of a twenty-year-old, and and, um, <laughs> and 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 the mind of an eighteen-year-old. No, um, yeah, that one's true. <laughs> I'm joking. Actually. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we're not getting any younger. So, so I think that, that there was a need, and 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 I've said this on a in a completely different industry interview, but um, in the air sector, and I've, I, I've as I've shared in that interview, uh, I said that's really exciting for me to have my two eldest children in the company. So, um, you know, Claire is now, you know, firmly taking hold uh, 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 of, of the company and a lot of she's taken an awful lot of, um, of the things that I used to try and juggle around um, to, to to take them off me. And, and, and you know, certainly with a with her program management skills and, and her general sort of business acumen, she's been able to sort of take me out of the day to day, which is fantastic. Right. So with her, her as a business director, it, it is really good news. Yeah. Um, Andrew coming into the business has certainly allowed um, downstairs to have a, a fresh pair of eyes and views on how to improve the efficiency uh, of, of the whole running of the, the, the operational side of logistics and, and workshops and production and that sort of stuff, which is great news because, you know, it, you know, he, he's brought a lot into that as well. Yeah. Um, so which, which has allowed myself and Amanda really to sort of concentrate on the things that we need to be concentrated on. She can concentrate on the money, because that's what she's good at. And, <laughs> and, 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 you know, making sure that, that we're, we're on time with paying our people and getting our money in and that sort of stuff. And 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 obviously she's very much into the um, the people skills and the HR and that sort of stuff and making sure that's running. Um, and then for me, it's allowed me to step back a little bit from the day to day and to look at what we need to do from a more strategic point of view. So, I, you know, there is uh, we've mentioned diversity a few times on this this chat, um, but, you know, we're now diversifying into the air sector, as we know, and we've been quite successful in that internationally with as far into Asia and Singapore, Bangkok, you know, further afield than that in, into New Zealand, etc. Um, so um which is fantastic news for dbd we've got an international footprint as well as an alternate market footprint um we're moving into the construction sector it, it, you know we, we've recognized that that construction um again just like the rail network need to have a little bit of an insurgence of technology yeah. they're doing some very um interesting things in in respect to you know, new technologies for construction and digging and tunneling, etc. But, but the, you know, the, the communication support that they've got is still stuck in the seventies. So, so it, there's a huge amount of, of of gap there that we're trying to close and help close. I'm sure, and there's many competitors that that, that are in there as well. So, um, and yeah, and, and I think the other thing that, that that's allowed me to do is to put back into the community a little bit. Because I'm now sitting as as a, as a board member on the Opportunity South Essex, which have a direct line into the into this um, into the local LEP group, um, you know, and 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 that's quite nice. And also on on the BBG with the local council and trying to do what we can to try and you know help the local community again, which is good. And I think that that's a, without you know the changes and the structural changes, I would never have have been able to do all of that um yeah, yeah. you know but yeah as i said i'm not quite at that stage I'm not quite at the end of the <laughs> end of the trail but, but i i am definitely um concentrating my efforts in other areas if you know what i mean yeah no that's that's nice it's really good and of course we've, we've got you brooke that's helping me do all the stuff and and you know doing all the all the control of the marketing and the restructuring there and the fact that we've outsourced a lot of our marketing but it still needs managing and, and you know praise where praise is due you know you're doing a great job at trying to you know make sure that that's kept up to date and pushed through and as, as we need to so yeah and i think 
what we find now is a lot of people in the company have have sort of found their it's it's no longer the frantic accelerated pace company we we're now we're getting our our boundaries and, our, and 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 making sure that we concentrate on the core objectives yeah rather, yeah, rather than being too diluted with in too many areas and i think to be fair that's what all the structural changes have, have meant i think but. yeah no i agree no it's we're at a nice stage at the minute you know it's moving forward really nicely